ladies, gentlemen, Borborygmoses and Gorlamis. Welcome to the Grixis Cube Draft. I'll be the man of the hour. I thought that title was a joke. No, it's actually a Grixis Cube. It is a cube full of Grixis cards. Disco Biscuits, you have missed two previous drafts. I'm going to take this Time Warp because I think Time Warp is a strong card in every format. I'm a big Staff of Nin fan. Hmm... Is it possible for us to go two colors in this cube? Probably. Do you ever want to go two colors in this cube? Probably not. I don't know. I just work here. I don't know if how good Masakre Worm is in this format. Could just be Night Veil Spectre. Well, it's a little too late to draft Mono Red when we've time warped. Staff of Nin is one of my favorite cards. Any card that, like, has a draw an extra card during your turn plus another thing going on for it is usually pretty great. Um, I think it's just Night Vale Spectre. <laughs> Mono Blue seems pretty rough. I don't know. Um, uh, it's either Night Vale Spectre or Staff of Nin, I think. I like Staff of Nin because we have Time Warp. Bale oh, Treachery? Come on. Third pick treachery. <laughs> yeah, we're taking treachery. I would love this baleful strix, but uh, it's a treachery, guys. Let's see what this. Let's see what this salami simulacrum is. From here, salami simulacrum. He's yep. got the salami for your mommy. <laughs> Wow. I didn't realize that was the Sonic oh, for your mommy post. That's fantastic. Kefnet seems fantastic. I'm going to take... We're Kefnetting. Also Frexian. Yeah, we're going to take Kefnet. I haven't played with Kefnet yet. It's a sin to be a Michael B. But that's okay. Because his name is Moochel. Can I tell you that I hate that my AirPods use a lightning cable and not a USB-C cable? <sighs> Guys, we're really looking at mono blue here right now. Master of Waves. Master of Waves has protection from 33% of the cube. Yeah, we're taking Master of Waves here. My guess, maybe, uh, maybe you're getting something here, buddy. Maybe you're getting something here. Agent of Treachery. Oh, I like a mana leak a lot. Solemn Simulacrum I like too. I want to take the Mana Leak. I don't know if this... Like, I know this cube has... I don't know if it has, like, Grim Monolith or Ancestral Recall or Time Walk. How can we pass the Salami after that amazing clip? God, your question is valid. I don't have an answer for you, though. It's a sin to pass the salami for your mommy. Do -do -do and do -do 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 -do. Brainstorm? I'm not really excited about Brainstorm. People are always going to be like, Brainstorm, take the Brainstorm. And I'm going to be like, it's just not good, guys. I could care less about it. Shut up and take my money. Oh, one mono blue book. One mono blue book. I just like Everflowing Chalice. Let's just turn two Kefnet. Uh, I, I think that's good. It's gooder in the late game because we can go turn four into staff. Like, I'm going to just take the Everflowing Chalice, guys. I'm sorry. Oh. Did you see that weird noise he made? Jesus. What a f what an idiot. What an absolute monster. Guys, we're mono-bluing. I'm sorry. This is... We're just doing it. This is a, this is the dream, guys. We're living it. You guys, you, your grandkids are going to come up to you one day and be like, Mom, Dad, where were you when Frank was living the dream? And you're going to be like, Son, I was there. I was there. 
and it's gonna be amazing. Are you a demo? That did have a very demigorgon sound to it. One mono blue buck. Fidalcon shackles. What a what a what an unfair card. Oh, I see. You're just gonna give me this shit pack with nothing I can play. Blast zone, I guess. Sure. It's like they don't want me to. It's like they don't even want me to have fun. Repeal? Well, considering it's the only card we can play, I'll take it. Augur of Bolas? You might not be terrible. Maybe. We'll see. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure Revoker's worth playing. I don't know if it's main deckable, but... There's also a lot of good red cards going around here. Yeah, you're playable. Shut up and take my money! Another mono blue book. You get a mono blue book. You get a mono blue book. All right, it kind of dried up towards the end there, but I think I'm I'm good with what we have. Underground Sea? Seer Mission's probably great, right? Thran Dynamo's not terrible. Exile card that's an instant or sorcery from your graveyard. For each card exiled this way. Copy it. So you're basically just copying a card, right? Why isn't this played in modern to, like, get a cruel ultimatum? Can't you just, like, put cruel ultimatum in the graveyard and then, like, master it? I'm back from meetings and we get to hang out for a while longer. Also, for some reason, you sound like you're in a bit of a hallway. Could this be PC? What does that mean? What? I sound like I'm in a hallway? Is anyone else having... Is anyone else having sound issues? <clears throat> Commence the end game seems great, actually. Draw two cards, and then making an XX. Oh, this could this be my, this could be my PC? I haven't watched it on this laptop before. Maybe, maybe, buddy. Oh, I like a Mull Drifter, guys. Also, a Sky Diamond. I think it's Mull Drifter. Mully is so good. Oh God, I love all these Grixis cards so much. <sighs> God, this this is torture. This is torture. Are, Are you serious? serious? This is torture. You're, You're torturing, torturing me and everyone else watching. Wait. I'm gonna take this. <laughs> ancestral vision, not the not the ancestral we want. Sword is actually not terrible in this queue, where you're like, pro, that's two color. We In the first draft we went over this, it's it's pro two colors. I think we're just taking the Ancestral Vision, though. It's another card to hit with Augur of Volus and Kefnet. <coughs> uh, miscalculation? Om um, game. I mean, we have six creatures now, but, I mean, we're going to... I'm sure we'll get more creatures. It's a sun. Shackles is a creature too. So is Treachery. So this is actually eight creatures so far, and we're not even done with the pack. So I think that's pretty good. Mystic Confluence? Nope, not even not even close. Now I'm glad we took this chalice because we want to be able to ramp into all these cards a lot easier.
you have no fixing. One fixing buck incoming. Can we please not play Augur of Bolas? I think that is legit what I was hit. It's it's terrible, I agree with you, but depending on how many how many hits we have. I mean we're not terrible yet, right? Like this is seven hits is pretty good. Like considering you're gonna have about thirty two cards in your deck by the time you cast it. Um you know, 7, 14, 20, 28. So it's, oh, it's about 25% to hit. <clears throat> and you're looking at three cards, not just... Yeah, because you're looking at three, right? That's why. Um, is that right? No, that's not. I don't know how to... <clears throat> I don't know what I just said. I was thinking seven for some reason, not three. Harbinger actually seems pretty good here. And it's another creature, so... Okay. Matter Shaper is decent. We have two lands that can cast it. Hangerback Walker is probably better, though, right? Let's take a Hangerback Walker. It lets us keep our mana up. <clears throat> Hangerback Walker. Hangerback Walker. Dear sir or madam, have you read my book? It took me Eldrazi Temple? That actually seems good for us. I mean, we could take Zealous Conscripts, but I really have no reason to play non-blue lands. Quicken. The next sorcery card you cast has flash. I, I don't actually have any sorceries except for Time Walk. Um, yeah, I'm just going to take Quicken. I mean, maybe this is just splashable. It's a, it's an island, so it doesn't hurt our mana base. No, I'll just take the blue card. Don't worry. I won't tell Lee Sharp what you're drafting. Your secret is safe. <laughs> oh, Lord. <clears throat> oh, wow. There's a lot of red cards, man. Sure. I had to leave right after you completed your first draft. How'd it go? Oh... We the last two drafts we did, we both we went at two one in each of them, so not too bad. I'm actually okay with it. Dream stealer, oh dream stealer! I believe you can get me. Careful study is pretty bad. I'm not a big careful study. I'm also not a big intuition fan unless you're like trying to put cards in the graveyard. I had a pretty rough day at work, but I always enjoy Too clever for smart. Sorry to hear about it, buddy. Hopefully we can uh, get some memes in. You got an itch. <clears throat> I scratched it. We're all good. Hold on a second. Whoop. Shut up and take my money. <clears throat> oh, what am I taking? Thir fine, you convinced me. Mono red stip. Nice. I'm a fan. Let's do it. Let's do the thing. Um. All right, what are we getting here? Jitte is a good card. You ain't kidding. And there's not really that many cards it's competing with. Yeah, we're just going to take the Jitte. <clears throat> Sheldock Isle. That's a free spell. I don't know if our spells are good enough, but Luis would never care about that. He just wants the Sheldock Isle, so we're going to take the Sheldock Isle. Force of Will and Counterspell? I bet the Force of Will table is more than the Counterspell. And I like just having Counterspell better. That's, I'm going to take the Counterspell. It's also just another card for our Augur of Bolas. <clears throat> Sheldock Isle into Banger Hatch Cocker? What, is, what, is what does that mean? I have no idea what just happened. All right, content. <clears throat> so we're gonna say Josh yes, mono red. <coughs> we're doing it. We're mono red. Oh, what? 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 Rewarded. Oh, banger hatch cocker. Benedict Cumberbatch. But what did we... Did we take a card that was like... True Name Nemesis is insane here. Oh, Hangerback Walker. Bang, Hangerback... Yeah, okay. Uh, Alright, I see. I see. Um, I'm, I'm getting it. I'm picking up what you guys are putting down. Um, Champion of Wits or Treasure Cruise? I think we have enough card draw, right? We have 
Uh, Mystic Confluence, Mold Drifter, Repeal lets us draw a card. Serum Visions, Ancestral Vision. Champion of Wits is good. It's another creature. We have a Jitte. I blame myself. No, it's not It's not that I didn't get it. I actually I figured it was a Benedict Cumberbatch, Cumberbatch reference. I just didn't know the card you were referring to that was that was sounded like that. We just need Lab Man? Lab Maniac? For what? I don't understand. Riffwing Cloudskate. <clears throat> oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, gravy. Oh, baby gravy. <coughs> we don't have that much card draw. Let's not go crazy. Okay, well, I wish I took Strip Mine now because there's a Crucible. But we're definitely taking Dig Through Time here. And now we need some cuts. Is baby gravy served to babies or served with babies? Uh, yes. That's correct. I mean, Augur is trash, right? But I mean, I don't know. Let's find out. Let's find out how trash it is. Nine, nine hits. Filigree Familiar is not great. I'd cut Filigree Familiar. I think that's fine. Nine hits seems good. I mean, Augur is good because because <clears throat> we also have Jitte to equip it to. So it does have multiple purposes here. Uh, Dark Steel Ingot. <clears throat> None of these cards are super exciting. I'll take an Ingot, whatever. There's nothing in here. That is nothing in here. Whirler Rogue is pretty good. <clears throat> it's two bodies. I mean, it's out of memory lapse. Memory lapse is also fine, too. Yeah, it is good for Master. Yeah, I'll take the Rogue, sure. I think it's good. Still need cuts, though. I mean, like, if we cut the auger, we can also cut, like, repeal, which I'm not super thrilled about. It's actually <clears throat> five bodies for Master of Waves, because you're making three and then you have two. Is Thassa in this cube? I didn't even know that. Blink of an eye and impulse. Ooh, ooh, I can actually see playing Mindstone over Everflowing Chalice here. <clears throat> Dude, the number of times me and Frank Karsten have been confused is ridiculous. I would rather take Blink. Just ooh, Charter Course. Also, Pilgrim's Eye is good. I do like a Pilgrim's Eye. I'll take Chart, of course. <clears throat> this is actually just a land that puts counters on things. That's fine. 
Art of Kieran, sure. Tyrant. Oh, Mishra's Factory. I actually like a Mishra's Factory here. All right, this is actually looking good. Oh, it's not because we look alike. It's actually because we're the only two Franks in Magic. So, I mean, other this is before like Frank Scarin was a was a thing. I applied for the Frank <laughs> Frank Karsten producer job. <laughs> oh boy, this is awkward. I'm gonna take Augur out now. Probably take Repeal out because we have into <clears throat> into the blink of the into the into blink of the into the royal. So now we need still two cuts. Riffling Cloudscape's a two drop. Chalice is a two drop. Hanger back is a two drop. <clears throat> maybe Harbinger of Tides is a sideboard card. I could see that. And maybe Miscal because we have Mana Lake and Counterspell already. Yeah, I think this is good. Uh, we'll play Mishra's Factory. Eldrazi Temple doesn't do anything. We didn't get any Eldrazi. Um, I could see playing Blast Zone or Tectonic Edge and Sheldock. 13? Yeah, so this is 14 blue sources. I like this deck. Cause I need a job and I want to be a paper bag writer. Paperback writer. This hand is rough. <clears throat> Yikes. We'll ship it. Oh boy. Let's keep it. We'll ship the blast zone. Done. This guy. Turn to Everflowing Chalice. Draw shackles here. Mana leak. Well. We are not turn two chalicing now. How has the deck been doing? Well, this is the literal, literal first game, first round, so I could not tell you. This is arguably bad, but it keeps them off blue, which could be relevant. And, uh... Cast with multi-kicker one. Okay, we did it. Okay, we did not fully keep them off blue. Here comes a Manic Vandal. That guy. One more, huh? Alright, so I think we're doing well here. Next time we get to go, we're going to blink of an eye this guy. Oof. Oof got the papers. Man, can you imagine if they stole this? I would I would cry. Now we get to draw three? Oh baby. Triggered. So we get Serum Visions and play Champion of Wits and Umazawa's Jitte. Or we can play Staff, or we can keep up Mystic Confluence and Serum Visions. We have a lot of options here. I don't think taking a hit from Spectre is terrible, especially if we put something bad on top with Visions. That's where I'm at right now. Just put something just unimpressive. Uh, I don't want them to have either of these. We could just Mystic Confluence draw two. Yeah, I actually kind of like that. I'll put this on the bottom. We'll put this on top. Do we play land this turn? Yes, we did. We'll just keep it Mystic Confluence here.
I'm gonna draw all the cards. Whoosh. I'm just going to keep playing this guy. And I'm going to keep bonking him. This is going to be the most times anyone has ever cast a Night Vale Predator. They've cast it once. They cast it after Cladsgate. They cast it, cast it after Blink. And they cast it after Mystic. <clears throat> this will be the fourth time they cast it if they do it again. That's pretty good. Well, that's something. That's a that's a problem. That's problematic. Oh boy. I don't think Master is actually good here. We can actually play Muldrift or Sheldock Isle, which I kind of like. Five. Yeah, we'll get rid of Island. We'll go Sheldock Muldrifter. Uh, oof. <laughs> oof. That's hot. That's hot. Um, Dig Through Time seems great here. money we have drawn a lot of cards so far five finally submitted a world decklist after a year box <laughs> oh man good times good times all right hold up hold up okay I see it. I see it in my inbox. I see it. It looks beautiful. I haven't looked at it yet. I assume it looks beautiful. The sample of it looks beautiful. You're gonna bounce my mole drifter? Wow. That seems terrible. I guess we'll take a million here, but they're like almost tapped out. Treachery. I need a treachery. Where are my treacheries at? We'll play an island here. Uh, we're going to cast you. <laughs> Any order. Is this as long as you control Dragonlord Silumgar? So once they don't control it, it's ours? Seems good. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Shackleys. And we get to pass with a counter spell and a shackles activation. I don't know. I feel like I've asked you this before, but what mic do you use? I'm looking to get started at streaming with Samsung G Track mic. Curious if you have any recommendations. 100 150 range um i'm gonna be honest with you the blue yeti is actually great i mean with a little bit of software um software tweaking like if you add like uh noise removal or something like that you can actually the blue yeti is actually really a really solid mic for the price point i mean it's it's both entry level but really really good for the price <clears throat> um the mic I use is a Shure SM7B, which is uh, a classic, just like your industry standard mic. You're going to kill this guy. Yeah, this is actually fine. That doesn't really affect the board at all.
And we win the game. That was amazing. I don't even know what their life total was at. Do I care? Uh, no. I almost want the miscalculation because of Dragonlord Selimgar. That guy's... That guy's a beef. A beefcake. That guy's one cake of beef. I don't think we I think we're just good like this, right? <clears throat> oh yeah, if you're just starting off, I don't recommend I don't recommend the Shirasmus 7B for sure. <laughs> I do not recommend it. Because you know I don't that's no no no, that's ridiculous. Yeah, I can see playing Reef. That's not bad. I don't know if I want to risk having fewer blue sources, though, because we already have three non-blue sources. Oh, God. Five drop, six drop. Mulligan again. Into another Ancestral Vision hand. Keep it. Oh, yes. Uh, what card are we putting back? Probably Serum Vision, right? I want three lands. Yeah, this hand seems fantastic. Uh, I use I use just regular OBS. Uh, I feel like the Streamlabs one is a little bit more clunky, but maybe it's maybe if I check, I don't know. It's been a while since I've checked. I didn't want to. If they had a way to import all my settings from OBS to Streamlabs OBS without me having to like reset them up, I would be on board. But that does not seem like it was an option at the time. This is awkward because if we don't counter it, like we're just going to lose the counter anyway. And we don't really have an easy way to get rid of this. So I guess we'll just counter it. Felix Last Life, what's going on? Um, well, that's pretty good. I kind of just want to Shackles here. We could have also Shell Dock into Riftwing, but... I, mean, I think it's more important to get this down. Because next turn we can steal something and play Riftwing, or Shell Dock, keep this up, and then just cast Riftwing. I, I think they're going to have an answer for this. Falconrath Aristocrat is not an answer. In fact, it's like an anti-answer. An ant, an ant, sir. Let's go to beginning of combat. I'm gonna steal this. Let's see if they sack it to itself. That would be. Hilarious. Or they can just bounce this, maybe? Repeal. Okie dokie. Being a dad is busy work. Man, this is what I hear. Is this yet? Is this it? Is it time yet? Oh, it is. I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, boy. Is it Dragonlord Silumgar time? 
I mean, then we just Feldic and Shackles and steal it, right? How come this front island has bigger text than these rear islands when everything else is proportional? That's my question. Perspective. <laughs> because it's closer to you. Wow, you guys are amazing. <clears throat> That's fantastic. Okay, okay. So, Falconer the Aristocrat is a problem. We're at 12. Do we want six mana for anything? I think we just want to play Shackles, keep up Shackles. Oh boy. 100% Mystic Confluence. <laughs> Brett, I have no idea what this link is, but it looks hilarious. I'm going to leave it up and watch it in a second. Oh my god. I feel like, did they just not play... Did they just not play their guy? Wow. Fildak and Shackles is a beating. Six mana, huh? GT. All right. Well, here we go. We have a true name nemesis and a GT on the board. Okay, that'll do. <laughs> Apparently, true name nemesis, shackles, and GT is uh, that's a hell of a combination. Because the thing is, like, even if they get one way to remove an artifact to get rid of the shackles, then we still have a GT and a and a true name nemesis. So it's like. It's really, uh, it's really six of one, half dozen of another. Well, this deck needs a future site and a time walk and an ancestral recall I'll keep this hand I think shackles is good enough to keep a lot of times I like that the two times we mulliganed in that match we uh, mulliganed into um, how you say uh, ancestral vision Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh man. How are you gonna big fan me? And then, then play Thought Erasure against me like it's standard all over again. Unbelievable. Yep, that is a solid choice. Uh, the the new computer component tray. Yeah, I, I spent like I spent like a, a thousand bucks or so to upgrade my a bunch of my PC stuff. So, um, I'm. I'm quite future-proofed now, but I, I just figured I'd let people know. Like, again, like, when you donate, I'm not like, hey, pay for my new computer. I'm just telling you if you guys donate, that's where it's going to. It's going for me. I'm going to recoup some of the, the cost for the new computer, which I'm using primarily for streaming and rendering content and things like that. So I don't even play a ton of games. So, um, but yeah, that's where that's going. And then next month, I'll start the rent meter again. So, 
Yeah, everything ended up working fine. Like, I got it running and uh, I'm using it right now. One of the issues was... Oh, one of the main one of the, the main issue was just that like it wasn't posting. But um the problem was that the firmware for my video card wasn't updated, so it actually wasn't able to the BIOS wasn't reading the DC the, the display port. So I actually had to switch over to HDMI and then I could see everything just fine. So Necromancy and Aggressive Brand. Well, wait, what? Wait. Wait. Wait, why didn't they get Crystal Brand? I am very confused. I mean, I think I just want to play Master for two bodies here. I guess they no, they they then they kill a Master and like we get no bodies, so that doesn't do anything. I guess so. We'll just suspend that. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, if I confluence it, it goes back to their hand, and they still get to draw like fourteen cards. Because that doesn't seem like a... That doesn't seem like a... A bad thing. Uh, you can't pick your own lands in the cube. The cube usually provides your lands. So, yes, these are, these are cube lands. All right, they have four cards. We have four cards. Everybody got four cards. We're doing a cube draft tonight at Game of Grid with Jake. Now I'm, now I'm jealous. Now I'm just jealous. I don't have four cards. Yeah, you know why? Because you're too slow. Slows me. Got him. Got him. Stop! He's already dead. All right. Let's do it. Mr. Confluence. Burnt. Burnt. But we didn't hit our fifth. You land that's really awkward why do i why do i hurt myself over and over again <laughs> quacker thank you so much buddy cosme i love you buddy you are awesome i appreciate you oh man you know what i don't know though i don't have answers for you my friend fifth land would have been nice then we can go time warp into frost titan but you know it's okay, they only have a Liliana. <clears throat> Maybe they're just like, my hand's good enough that I don't even need Gristlebrand. Alright, well, that's a land. So, I mean, like, all we can do is upkeep and, like, Mystic Confluence, I guess. Oh, we actually can't bounce this, can we? Oh, we should have time warped. That doesn't do anything either, though. We just can't get rid of this is the problem. Yeah, there's nothing we can really do. We just have to, like... We'd have to time warp, hope to draw one card. Yeah, and that wouldn't have come off anyway. So I think we just can't, we just can't deal with Liliana here. Yeah, it would, Island wouldn't have done it. All right. I mean, that's fine. 
I'm bringing miscalculation. They seem like they want to get miscalced. I'll take out Master of Waves. It just doesn't seem good against Liliana's. Maybe Repeal is good here. I don't know how good Shackles is. Is it worse than Repeal? Maybe. I don't know. I guess we'll find out next time on Dragon... Nope, that's not it. <clears throat> oh yeah, I'll keep this. Thank you. Felix Last Life just opened a foil Japanese alternate card from what that sounds sick, dude. What is the going rate for that guy? Thank you for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. I don't actually know if I want to Serum Visions here. It does put our... Yeah, let's Serum Visions. We want to set up, like, some draws and have them... We don't have really things to play here. Oh, yes. Um, I'm going to keep both of these. I'll put you on top and then you on top of that. So we draw the true name of the turn we're going to play it. Now, the question is, do we play Riftwing? Yeah, we've got to play Riftwing here. Wait, how did we... Did we put them in the wrong order? I didn't think we did. Because if now they go... If they just make us discard this, I'm going to be real sad. Yes, we did. We put... No, did we? Eh, it doesn't matter, I guess. All right. <laughs> doesn't matter. You did. Oh, I'm so bad at ordering. Yep, there's the island we wanted. Let's see if they counter this. I did not see any counter spells, but... Here we go. Oh. Oh boy. Well, that's good. Next turn we Jitte equip. What is the new featured limited event? Uh Grixis Cube, which we are playing right now. Jitte. Oh, this one's getting... Uh, oh. Alright. Eh, that's fine. I'm game. You get a you get a turn, but... A turn, but... Okay, Jesus, your name Nemesis and Jitte. Oh God, causing the scoops for thousands of years. Harbinger does seem good. Someone mentioned that. I'm I'm on board for a Harbinger. Do I care about Everflowing Chalice? I don't know. It's pretty fine, I guess. Take a Hangerback Walker.
I'll keep this hand. It's not the best, but it's also not the worst. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying, guys? If we can top deck Ancestral Vision into Counterspell, into, like, land, who knows? Who knows how life, you know, who knows what can happen, you know? Uh, don't you write for cool stuff? I do. I don't know why you asked that, though. So definitely head on over to CoolStuffInc.com and check out my latest article that went up today about the ban and restricted changes. And um, I have new articles going up every Wednesday. So if you guys are looking for my content, you can find it every Wednesday. I also want to mention to you guys that if you are um, if you guys are watching on YouTube and you don't have Twitch, but you want to support the stream and you want to make a Twitch account or you don't want to go over to Twitch and spend $5 on a subscription, definitely check out Patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. Even if you Patreon like a dollar or $2 or $3 or something, which is cheaper than a Twitch subscription. It helps out a ton, and it's a great way to support the content at a lower price point than, like, the $5 a month from Twitch. Although Twitch subs are great, and if you have Twitch Prime, you can easily just use your Twitch Prime sub for free. Um, you know, if you want to support the stream and you don't have $5 a month to spend on it, one or two bucks is awesome over at patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. And uh, I, would re I really appreciate that as well. It's a great way to support the channel, so... Thank you guys in advance for, for checking that out. Well, geez. We have no counter spell, and I don't really want to bounce anything. I'm just going to play Jitte here. Oh, they get a spell pierce. That'd be so bad. We just walked into a spell pierce. No, we did not. We walked into a hard counter, which is just fine. I'm sending you the file for the terrible shirt number three. I accept. James, what's going on, buddy? Um, yeah, this seems fine. I wish we had a counter spell here. Thought erasure, huh? Yep, that's fine. Is this a cube draft? Uh, yeah. It's a Harbinger, huh? I'm just going to pass here. There's nothing in the graveyard that we're really scared about. They have two cards. I feel like we're in good shape here. Maybe I'll catch you at the end of this queue. Have a good night, Chad. Uh, ben, have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for hanging out and uh, for advising Josh on his microphone choices. I see. I see. All right, frosty tea. Frosty tea, it'll burn your throat. <sighs> that is unfortunate, but they have one card, so... Let's see if they uh, counter our chart, of course.
Oh, wow. I did not expect that to resolve. Hmm. Fascinating. I thought my brother would be watching. I turned on to you a few months ago. Well, wait. Does he have to be watching right now, though? Um... I think I can just hold this. I don't really have to. I don't really see a reason to, to suspend when we have seven thousand mana on board. <laughs> okay, so this is the uh, this is the new this is the new T-shirt design from Jiminy Bo Jiminy Boz. Oh man. Quality milk of the puppy. <laughs> oh god, that's that's amazing. That's amazing. Jesus. These have to be shirts, right? We just have to make these. They have two cards, we have four cards. This is the last thing I want to bounce. <gasps> wow. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Damn, boy, he's thick. Boy, that's a thick ass boy. Damn. Ba -ba! Wow. So we have Counterspell, Mystic Confluence, and Dig Through Time. Wow. That's that's uh that's a spicy meatball. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. Oh my god, come on. This is... I mean, I feel like this Mishra's Factory can just... Just do the, do the deed. Spell Pierce is an option. Could just be lands, too. They did not play a card. Could just be three counter spells, too. Can you imagine? This leaves us a 7 untapped, which means we can Mystic Confluence and pay for Spell Pierce. It's not a phase, Mom! I forgot what wasn't a phase, though. They're like, okay, I'm done. I can't take any more damage from this from this Mishra's factory. But whatever it was, it wasn't a phase. That's true. It's true. Oh, it was the green screen mask. Oh, that thing was that thing was amazing. That thing was classic. That thing was t was terrifying, buddy. I can just bring it back for you, buddy. I can bring it back. This Mishra's factory is working so hard. Do we just take? Do we just? I mean, I guess they counter dig through time, right? But 
then what? Then what after that? I wonder if we should have just played Riftwing Cloudscape before now. Eight mana is kind of awkward though, because like if we play Mystic Confluence, they can counter it. We can counter spell what they play, but if they do have Spell Pierce, we only have one mana up. Same thing with Riftwing Cloudscape. If we play Cloudscape, it doesn't leave us counter spell and Spell Pierce up. But, I mean, like, I guess we're in no rush here. Factories are a major point of contention in both world wars. Don't underestimate them. That's a good point. I apologize for even implying that. I mean, I'm tempted to just play Dig Through. Okay, now that was the land we needed, to be quite honest. It sounds weird that, like, our 11th land was the one we wanted, but... How do they have four cards? What are they doing right now? Four cards, eight mana. I don't understand what's in the hand. Unless they're just literally drawing all lands and not playing them. <clears throat> like, the last thing I want to do is bounce Glenelander Archmage, because then, like, they can replay it. It's refreshed. Are they throwing the game? You know, you know, I don't know. It's uh, it's uh, hard to say sometimes. Gristlebrand isn't even scary anymore because they're at seven now, so they can't draw any cards. So, like, if they play Gristlebrand, we're just gonna blink of an eye that dude. Okay, so nothing again. I think we're just digging through time here. Like, we don't need the cards, but getting this off the board is really, really powerful. One, two, three, four. We're just going to get rid of our whole graveyard. We have no other Delve cards. We have nothing to get back from the graveyard, so. Bing! Look at this value. They're like, I'm going to get it back. I'm going to get it back. Yeah, that's fine. Staff of Nin is nice. Let's activate this gentleman. So now we can play around spell pier. Oh, 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 it's happening. No, it's not happening yet. Now it's happening. Things are happening. Oh. Necromancy targeting. Oh, I guess it doesn't target till it hits the. No. I ain't. Mm, not. Nah. No. I still don't think we're just Staff of Ninning here. There's no reason. This Mishra's Factory. If they tapped out, I would Staff of Nin. But as of right now, I'm like, Nobby, I'm good. Nobby. Because then, like, once we play Staff, we have one man up. If they spell Pierce, it's countered. Like, as the control deck here, like, we just have to sit behind our hot stuff. Hot stuff coming through. They take four? Yeah, okay. Yikes. Oof. 
beating down. Misha's factory's just beating you down. All right, got him. Got him. Oh, I thought that was round three, man. I got real excited. Our deck is good. I thought that was round three. I thought it was done. If you gotta spend five for a counter spell, might as well do all the I'ma draw a card, I'ma bounce this guy, and I will counter your seven drop. Is that okay with you? I don't care. Uh yeah, this hand is great. Uh turn three Kefnet. Sure. Keffers McNetters. That's not his name. I don't know why you'd say that. Why would you call him that weird that weird nonsense? I don't know. Just fell right at the time. Man, remember that time we just, that, that Misha's factory? I'm just like, you do something. You do something. I'm not doing anything. I have a 2-2. Uh, we'll get Riffling Cloudscape. Keffers McNetters. Ooh -wee. Uh, let's cast with Multicare. I don't know why casting is even an option. I wonder if it warns you when you can't cast it. Like, if you go to cast it without multi-kicker, if it's like, hey, wait, you're going to play this with no counters on it. It's like, oh, okay, thanks. Turns out getting hit ten times by an enemy Misha's Factor does, in fact, kill you. That's true. It turns out your life points are equally vulnerable to uh, Misha's Factory as they are to anything else. Oh, big Kef Kef's McNet seems broken. It does not warn you can confirm. <laughs> Uh, just so you know, you will fuck up, so uh, just be careful. It doesn't care. I'm tempted to just bounce this guy. Unless we hit Ancestral Vision. Oh my god, can you imagine? Oh no, dang it, that would have been so good. It would have been alright, I guess. Do I want Muldrifter or do I want... I can just blink of an eye this guy, right? We can just blink and keep up Counterspell when it comes back down. That actually seems great. I mean, not drawing off blink seems fine. I don't really want to discard my hand as the thing. I think our hand is good. Pop. No, definitely no. Trash can. Go to the trash can. No one wants you here. <laughs> well, that's a guy. That's a guy. I'm just going to put you to 10. Because that seems better than playing a Hangerback Walker for one, maybe? I don't know, maybe not. Getting Hangerback Walker down is nice, though, because if we hit a land, we can play Muldrifter and Pump. And then also we're low enough that Magus of the Wheel doesn't do anything against us. That doesn't do anything. I wonder if they played this thinking it would kill True Name Nemesis, and now that it didn't, they're like, oh shit, that card's worse than I thought. Oh!
I'll bounce these two for three mana. I'll activate four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll kill you. Why are you covering your mouth? Because I was shocked. What's a, what a weird question. <laughs> Why are you doing this? I don't understand. Well, you see, sir. They're playing like mono red, but it's not like aggressive mono red. Do you have any creatures that die? Master of Waves is both rough against Chain Whirler because it kills all the elementals, but it's also great because it can just block it forever. Master of Waves seems very good against mono red. What's your finger doing with your mouth? Pure Ghost, what's wrong with you? <laughs> God. Why are you rubbing your face? Oh god, look at this look at this trash hand. Mm, ship it. Yeah, this is better. Let's get rid of Mole Drifter because it's expensive. I'm glad you're still alive. Me too. Me too. If they don't have any way to deal with artifacts, do we does Veldak and Shackles just destroy them? I think the answer is yes. Oh, that was a good. That was a good good. Oh, yes. Master of waves it is. I mean, the odds of us getting there is is not high. I missed the draft. Sammy, you missed 3 drafts today. Beating down, burning my feet just to... You guys know this song? This, uh... It's, uh... It's a Genesis song? It's called I Can't Dance? I'll just play Shackles here. I mean, I feel like they're just gonna go Thunder My Hulk Kite. And that's gonna be rough. I can't dance. I can't sing. Yeah. Brett knows what's up. Sunny D burning my throat all the time. Yeah, that's probably the actual words. Koth? Buddy, I'm going to steal one of your mountains. Oh, they just added five. Six. Inferno Titan. Oh, Christ. This is rough. Oh, Jesus. Oh, biscuits. We can bounce this, actually. We can bounce anything. We can bounce whatever we want. Don't be something good. Yep, it's Mono Islands. Man, I'm now I'm wishing this Sheldock Isle is a, a huge regret for me. I just wish I didn't I wish I didn't even play it now. Have you guys ever heard of Phil Collins? Next turn we can champion and steal 4-4. I heard Mishra's Factory is pretty good. I wish it was a land island, though. Then I'd be a lot more on board with it. Oh, Jesus. What is this nonsense? Six mana. Ugh. Oh. Oh. I think I'm going to throw up now. Oh, God. Oh, they didn't actually... They didn't emblem yet. I want to bounce this, but like... It's not even a threat this turn is the problem. Thank you. This is also 12 damage. This is a this is the nut. This is the nut draw if I've ever seen it. Yeah, but I have a two. Thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Oh, they gave a gifted sub. Thank you for the gifted sub, my dude. Really appreciate it. <sighs> Three islands is rough. I don't think we bounce the token. We can steal the token next turn. This is actually 16 damage? Oh, God. This is much worse. Oh, I'm vomiting right now.
Yeah, I could see bouncing Chandra in response to Sar. Uh, bouncing Sar kind of response to Chandra. I mean, we take eight instead. Yeah, this is brutal. Oh God. Hey, whirl a rogue. Can't die now. Yeah, I mean, if we bounce Koth or Sarkon in response, but I wasn't sure, like... I don't know. There's a lot going on, guys. Oh, wow. That's interesting. This is going to kill us, though, right? Like, next turn, they give us another emblem. Oh, boy. This is hard to deal with. They just kill this. That'd be so sad. Hey guys, is there any way to interact with emblems? Can I get rid of emblems? Is there a card that does that? No? Okay. To clarify, I don't think there should be a card that does that. I don't think emblems should be interactable. Interesting. The problem with any card that removes emblems is that they're far too narrow to actually be any good whatsoever. Um, you're either going to have people not playing. Like, think of how many games you've played in Magic where your opponent actually had an emblem. I think it's probably like 1 out of 70. It's an unreasonably low amount. So, like, no one's going to ever play a card uh, that gets you an emblem. It's just not going to happen. So, I mean, like, it's just it's also a really hard card to interact with because it's not part of the game. They're not permanents, you know. So, like, it's, it's, I mean, like, you and I will know how to do it. Like, if a card says removes an emblem, like, okay, cool, but. But you can't destroy something that's not a permanent, right? Like, you can't destroy a card in someone's hand. You can't destroy, uh, like, destroy is a keyword that applies only to permanence in the game of Magic, which is my point. Like, your 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 suggestion there illustrates exactly why it's so complicated um, to have cards that interact with emblems. We're definitely bringing in miscalculation. Right, outside of unsets. An unset could just be like, throw an emblem in the trash can, and you're like, oh, I know exactly what that's doing. I guess Hangerback Walker is bad. Repeal seems too slow. Like, we're going to have to have five lands in play to actually get rid of a, one of their Planeswalkers that are relevant. I'd rather have cards that can deal with them beforehand. Unfortunately, we just don't have a ton, but we're also on the play this turn, so... Yes. Yes. Yes, yes to all of this. Uh, top and top. Not a chance. Oh, this is great. We have two counter spells and a shackles. 
Yep. I mean, we could have theoretically played Jitte there. I don't know what they could have on to, but I also don't think there's any rush to, to take the shields down for a Jitte when we don't even have any creatures, so... I think this is fine because we have shackles. We're definitely playing this now because next turn we can steal... Like, if they go Chain Whirler, Haste Attack, I'll take five. We can steal the Chain Whirler and still keep a Counterspell up, so... Um, sure, this is all fine. Okay. That is fine. Oh, yeah, Jimmy, I'll take it. I'll I'll take a gander right now. Quick and bad. Okay, no, this is <laughs> This is the only one I'm vetoing right now. This is... That's just gorgeous. The problem is I don't want anyone wearing that shirt, so... Jesus, God. It's just horrifying. It's horrifying. If we steal Spellskite, do we just get to... We just get to treachery the next thing? Jesus. You should just wear the full green suit so that you could just walk into the curtain as a floating face. Yeah, I, I mean, that's ultimately the goal. Just to get the full the green bodysuit. Did you guys not know that? On my feet, just is bribery in this queue? I don't know yet. I've only done three drafts, but probably. Lodestone golem. No, that seems obnoxious. Jiminy Boss, have a good night, buddy. Thank you for the support. Really appreciate it. I don't want to be the true alpha male. That's so awkward. Alpha males feel generally, uh, generally relatively toxic. Uh, let's steal this guy. <laughs> alpha transparency. What does that mean, Brett? I actually don't even know what that means. Um, okay, so, do you want to give this guy back? No, we want to play Jitte and attack. Yes, excellent. We can also just, oh, what if we just tectonic edge one of their lands? What if we tech edge their tech edge? We can't do that yet, I guess. However, we are going to keep Counterspell up. I'm not going to attack yet. Eight megs down is pretty brutal. It's gotta be a no. That's a no for me, buddy. That's a big negative. That's a negarino. It's a negaruski. Daniel Negrano. Missed the confluence? Damn. Burst lightning your own dude.
Yeah, alright. Whirler Rogue. Alright, so next time we get to untap shackles, steal your spell skite. Hang her back for one. Okay, so one, two, one, two. Yeah, this is fine. Suspend you, play you. Probably just going to steal Spell Skite here. Or we can just steal Hangerback Walker, and like they didn't stop us from doing that last time. The problem is if we ever untap it to get back a guy, it's awkward because then we're just gonna make it bigger, or we can just not make it bigger at all. Just put a Jitte on it. We could actually put a Jitte on it and kill it, and then steal the spell sky. That's actually not bad. The reflex is a oh, this is nice. All right, they're digging. I think Shackles and Jitte on our on our side is very hard to deal with. I mean, we could also steal Spell Skype, play Treachery to take something, and then untap Shackles, just give them Spell Skype back when it's not relevant. So I'm going to take this, and if they redirect to Spell Skype, that's fine, we'll just block. Seems good. And we have blue to pay for spell scout if we need to. God, that's brutal. Do you think the polymorph deck you played a bit ago gets worse with the new modern? Um, why would it get worse? Give me a reason why it might. I haven't considered that it would. Oh, I guess we just win the game. 3-0 with our sweet mono blue deck. Definitely check me out on patreon.com slash franklapore. Check out the new article, coolstuffinc.com. It's uh, about the banned and restricted list. Patreon. I did that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And uh, check out mandatorators.com. They have an amazing subscription service for magic cards, digital magic online cards, or physical paper cards. And you get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and the promo code down below. So be sure to use all of those. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, guys, and I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it.